Okay, from here starts the speaking test. This is the speaking test of the International English Language Testing System taking place in Ross Isles Academy. The candidate is Birma Marisol Gomez, candidate number 0143587. The examiner is Mehmet Shafi, examiner number 443533. Good evening. My name is Megan Shafi. Would you please tell me your full name? Hi, my name is my full name is Birma Marisol Gomez. And what can I call you? Uh, Sol. 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 Only Sol. Sol. Only Sol. Good. And can I see your identification? Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. So we can now get started with the first part of the exam. In the first part, I will ask you some personal questions. Okay. First, let's talk about your holiday. How do you usually spend your holidays? Ah, uh, in my holidays, mm -hmm. sometimes I I travel in some place in Mexico or or wherever. Um. Sometimes I go to USA in San Diego or Los Angeles mm -hmm. because I love shopping in USA. Uh, sometimes I I stay only in my home. Mm -hmm. I I watch movies or read the books. Perfect. And is there uh, anywhere you would particularly like to visit on holidays in the future? Yes, uh, the the last year, um, mm -hmm. because uh, COVID, no mm -hmm. visit other countries, but but my dream is to visit London mm -hmm. and Turkey and Japan. Perfect. And do you prefer relaxing at home in the evenings, or you prefer to go out? I prefer staying my, at my home, mm -hmm. uh, relaxing, maybe uh, read a book or watch movies. Okay, uh, perfect, great. Now let's talk about your job. What is your job? My job. I'm a degree in economics and finance. Mm -hmm. My job is about finance in the San Mina. San Mina is a company. American company in Mexico. Um, I in the department to finance. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and do you like your job? Yes, I love my job. I have two jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, this and the other job. I'm a professor, mm -hmm. and it's my hobby. But my pays my hobby, and I love my job. Okay, and what job do you think you will be doing in five years time? Five years, maybe uh, teaching uh, financial education mm -hmm. or invest investments mm -hmm. or I don't know, maybe the same but m more in the place paying more money. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Now let's talk about names. Who gave you your name? My my. Parents, uh -huh. parents give me my name. Uh, my first name is Birma. Birma uh, have a two part. Birma is because Bir Bir is because my father mm -hmm. name was Virgilio. Mm -hmm. Bir is to Virgilio, and my mother name is Maricela. This is the composition to to name to my parents. Okay, and what do your friends call you? So. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Thank you very much. Great. We are now done with the first part of the exam, and we can move on to the second part. Okay. So, um, so in the second part, I will give you a card with a topic, and you will have to talk about this topic for two minutes. Okay. But before you do so, you will have one minute to think about what you're going to say, and you can make some notes to help you if you wish. Do you understand? Yeah. Perfect. So now I'm giving you this uh, paper and your cue card. So here's the paper to make notes. Okay. Here's your cue card and the pen. I would like you to describe a home that you visited but did not want to live in. Now, 
Here you go. You will have one minute one to minute. think about the topic. Okay. Yeah, and I will let you know once your one minute is over. So you may start thinking now. Okay. So now your one minute is over and you can talk about this topic for two minutes, but do not worry if I stop you. So you can start talking about the topic now. Okay, two years ago I visited uh, my aunt, my aunt's house in the beach. It's in the state to uh, It's far, far away to Alhara, maybe five or six hours. The beach is a wonderful. Um, um, it's so beautiful the beach in this place, but uh, the place have a lot of mosquitoes mm -hmm. in the uh, after the uh, 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. There's is mosquitoes so little 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 little, and the weather is so hot. Is um, I don't know what what to say, but it's it's horrible. It's mm -hmm. terrible. It's it's uh, uh, in the house, in the home of my aunt, uh, the world is too hot, more than the beach. Mm -hmm. uh, have uh, scorpions. Mm -hmm. uh, the conditioner doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Work doesn't work. Uh, I don't know why, but the the. Um, the, the only reason because me go to the house, my, my aunt's house, is because mm -hmm. it's the beach, but it's terrible, it's terrible, it's hot, it's, um, uh, 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 they don't have internet, mm -hmm. they don't have internet, they don't have um, anything, no, no have a, uh, supermarket uh, okay the food is very good the food is very good and the beer is very good it's so uh, cold thank you very much thank great you. now your two minutes is over thank so you if you just hand me the paper and thank you so much and the pen great okay so so in the second part, you talked about a house that you visited but did not like to or did not want to live in. Now in the third part, I want to ask you some questions related to this topic. Okay. Do people in your country like to visit other people's homes? Yes. Yes, because it's, it's, it's cultural. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so funny. And is the uh, security? I don't know what you say, but it's so funny. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how about you? How often do you visit other people? Uh, maybe. Uh, two weeks. Like, see, two weeks, or maybe one, one, twice to month. Mm -hmm. No more than that. Okay. And um, in your country, when people visit each other, what do they normally do together? Okay, play game boards or drink some alcohol, maybe mm -hmm. beers or tequila or, or whatever, water. Uh, 
Um, why do you think people do these activities when they gather together? Why do you think people do these activities like drinking, playing games? Why these? Oh, uh, uh, only because it's funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's funny. Is it time to distract? Uh, distract or uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, distract to the weak in the uh-huh. words mm-hmm. is to start relax. Mm-hmm. It's funny. Okay. And how about the gifts? Are gifts necessary when visiting others in your culture? Uh yes. No gifts, but uh, gifts. Sorry, but just uh maybe food or some something to uh give to others. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, um. Give to others. I don't know what you say it could be weird, but it's to the party. And mm-hmm. Perfect. Yes, yeah. great, great. And uh, now let's talk about the places that people like to live in in your country. Um, so can you tell me a bit about that? What kinds of places, what kind of houses do people in your country would like to live in? Um... In general, the houses are small. Mm-hmm. Maybe three rooms or one bedroom, the mm-hmm. one bathroom. But the people is nice. Mm-hmm. It's nice. But my favorite houses is in the beach. Mm-hmm. In the beach, are the houses are small too. Uh, uh, and I don't know, it's Khalid. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know when you say hot, but it's not hot, it's cold, it's nice, it's polite. The people is polite. Mm-hmm. In Perfect. the houses in, in the houses is polite. Okay, so now that you talked about living in the city and living uh maybe near the beach, uh let me ask you this question. What are the differences between the homes in the city and those in the suburbs? In the suburbs, especially in Guadalajara or Mexico City. Uh, all day have a much traffic and the people are uh, fast all day. Uh, it's a stress in sometimes, mm-hmm. not even. But it's so funny the suburbs because we have all all the um, all uh, not so much places to go. Mm-hmm. In the beach, no, only go to the beach. But it's relaxing, the beaches are funny and wonderful, beautiful. Mm-hmm. And okay, you know. great. Thank you very much. This is Thank the you. end of the speaking test. Thank so you. now you can just take a breath. And uh, I will, good, just like that. And I will just take a minute or two to add up your score in different criteria and then I'll give you the feedback, okay? I okay. just need one minute or two minutes. Okay, okay? good. Speaking course. This course is made up of five offline speaking videos in which you will learn all the necessary tips and techniques to take the IELTS speaking test with a high score. Tell me about your family. Do you like In addition to that, you will have access to useful grammar and vocabulary resources. Once you finish your course, you will have one online mock test of speaking along with comprehensive feedback under the same exam conditions. Interesting question. A very Join us to become our next successful candidate. Okay, so now let's see what you did. But before I give you the feedback, uh, you can tell me about your idea. Like, how was your performance? How was the test? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's so bad. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's because I feel, I don't know, English like, like, like want, but mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> it's something that you understand, but when you want to talk, when you want to speak English, maybe it's a bit harder. Yes, it's so harder because a lot of words 
forgive. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why. You forget this, about the wars. Your uh, mind goes blank. Uh -huh, uh -huh. My mind is blank. Uh, the structure go. Oh, I see. You just need more practice. So first, I want to give you the feedback based on the different criteria, and then we can talk about your overall band score. Okay? Okay. Good. So uh, first of all, to talk about your fluency and coherence, the first criteria. I can say that um, what I loved generally your performance is that you're so energetic. You have the self confidence, and you are able to. Uh, keep talking. I mean, even if it is hard for you to produce the language and use the structures and use the words, but you have very good ideas to develop. It clearly shows that if you practice a bit and work on your English and strategies, you can get better the next times and in the future. So about your fluency and coherence, um, as I told you, you were able to maintain the flow of the speech. You were able to talk. Even in part two, you ran out of ideas, but you just kept talking until the two minutes was over. And um, however, you had some self-correction. You said something, then you corrected yourself. You were not sure about the English form of the words or the structure in English because you are not actually thinking in English. No. You're thinking in your mother tongue, whatever it is. <laughs> I think you, you said you're from Mexico, so you speak Spanish. Uh, you were at times thinking in Spanish and not English. And that's why you were just using some structures that were not actually yeah. correct in English. Mm -hmm. And uh, that led to self-correction, self-repetition, and some hesitations, pauses when you were talking to me. I do recommend you to use more connectives as well and discourse markers. I mean, when you want to give me the answer, you can say, for example, well, actually, I think, in my opinion, mm, yeah. or some fillers and boosters, to be honest, uh, that's a very interesting question, yes. or connectives, for example, you were just using and, so, but, because, just use more, because if you only use these connectives, you cannot expect to get more than five, influence and coherence. Okay. So you can use, for example, in addition to that, Besides, however, even though, despite something, unless, so use these words. Okay. That's about your fluency and coherence. Uh, in part one, you had more hesitations, but in the other parts, you had less hesitations. But generally, you should work on thinking in English and uh, widening your vocabulary range. Now to talk about the next criteria, your uh, lexical resource, your vocabulary. In your vocabulary, I can say that you were able to talk about the unfamiliar and familiar topics. And I could hear some words um, which were on point, for example, uh, the financial education, the investments, horrible or terrible, so that was a synonym, the scorpion, you knew some animal names. Uh, but. I could not see a wide range. There was how you were using the words was not used flexibly. I mean, okay. and sometimes you didn't know the vocabulary in English, and you were searching mm -hmm. for words in your speaking. Okay. Yeah. I recommend you to widen your vocabulary and use some collocations, some idiomatic vocabulary, and paraphrase better. Paraphrase means the use of synonyms. If I say something, don't repeat my words. Use some direct synonyms. Yeah. And now to move on to the third criteria. Um, in the third criteria, grammatical range and accuracy, I believe this is what you should work on more than the other criteria, yes. your grammar. Because uh, whatever you were saying it was clear to understand, I could get your point, but you were already making mistakes in most of your sentences, the majority of your sentences. And it was mostly about tenses. If I it was in present, you were using present, past. Yes. If it was past, you were using present sometimes. Uh -huh. Or prepositions, articles like the, a, an, and singular and plural. Okay. For example, I don't know, people, um, you were not sure is it singular, is it plural? And so much places, which is so many places. So it's about singular and plural, yeah. uncountable and uncountable. I'm a degree, I have a degree. Or because copy, because of copy. Because it's followed by a sentence. Because of God. So that's about your grammar. Maybe you can just improve your grammar a bit and make less mistakes. And if you want to get a higher score, use more complex grammatical structures. Yours were all simple. Okay. And the last criteria, your pronunciation. To talk about your pronunciation, you... I mean, I can 
generally say that your pace of the speech was good, it was not too slow or too fast, and you were trying to use some pronunciation features, you were clear to understand. But sometimes you have, at times you had some intonation problems, how you raise and lower your voice, and lapses in how you pronounce the words. For example, combination, you didn't pronounce, you pronounce it like as if it was some other word, but it was the word combination of something, two okay. things. Yeah. Uh -huh. So um, try to pronounce the words the, the way they are pronounced in English, because at times the intonation and the rhythm was not English. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for that, you can listen to some uh, native speakers, talk to native speakers and try to apply the shadowing technique. I mean, repeat after them the way they do. This can help your pronounce grammar. Okay. okay, perfect. Thank Any you. questions? No, no questions. Thank you. Perfect. You're welcome.